Welcome to this first video in a series of tutorials on using iTrain. My name is Bob and I'd like to give special thanks to Ian Morrison for his help in producing these videos. In this video I'll run through what's needed to run iTrain. We'll go through the installation of the software and entering the license key. To use iTrain you'll need a desktop computer or a laptop that's running either Windows or Mac OS or the Linux operating systems. And you'll need a piece of software called Java which is typically installed on most computers. And you'll need the iTrain software itself. If you haven't already purchased iTrain, you can apply for a two-month trial license and test it for free. Now initially that is all you need to follow along with these tutorials because we'll be using iTrain in offline mode so we will not be physically connected to your layout. But at some stage of course you'll want to connect to your own layout and I will show you how to do that and uh, how to transfer what you've learned on the simulator, if you like, over to your layout. Okay, so let's move ahead and start installing the software. The process will be as follows. We'll check to see if Java is installed on your computer. Then we'll go to the iTrain website and uh, download the Java software, if that's needed and then uh, download the iTrain software and then apply for the two month trial license if you need to. Right, to check if Java is installed is very simple. Go to your desktop, then down to the search box down here, click in there and then type CMD for the command prompt and then click on the command prompt and a command prompt window will open and then in here you type Java space dash version and then return and then if Java is installed you'll, you will see three lines similar to this and uh, what you need to check is the revision number here and as long as you've got revision 8 or higher then you're fine there's no need to install Java. This is the message you will see if Java is not installed and I'll show you how to install it next. Here we are at the iTrain website which is located at berus.eu. If we go to the download section and then if you scroll down here you'll see a section entitled installation. If you need to install the Java software then click on the link for Bellsoft which is shown here or here in the Windows section. Click on either of them and this will take you to the Bellsoft website. Now scroll down and you'll see there are four tabs down here for the different revisions of the software. I'm going to choose version 11 with LTS support so I'll click on that tab and then below here there are two sections one for 64-bit computers and one for 32-bit computers so choose whichever is appropriate to you and then Within the different operating systems you'll see there is a drop down window. So click in that and then choose the full JRE version. And on Windows at least the MSI installer is the easiest to use so that is what I will choose and click on that. And you'll see down here that the download is starting. When it's finished downloading, just click on the link down here to start the installation wizard. Click Next to begin. And Next again. And then just click Install to start. 
then click finished and that's the Java installed. Good, so now we can download the iTrain software. We'll go back to the iTrain website and on the right hand side here you'll see the download links for the software. Uh, one for Mac OS, one for Windows and Linux and there's an alternative download for just Windows if you prefer which is this link here. So choose whichever is appropriate. I'm going to choose the iTrain install jar. Click on that and start the download. And then we can click on the link to start the installation. Click yes to the English language and next again. This is just the install notes. Click yes will accept the license agreement and I'm OK with this uh, default installation path. I already have it installed but I'm going to overwrite it so you'll see a new install and these are the items that will be downloaded that's all fine. Click next and next again and then it's going to create a shortcut in the start menu and one for the desktop which is all good. Click next to that. Don't need the install script but we're done. So that's everything done. And then if we go to the desktop there we see the iTrain logo which we can double click on to start the program. It takes one to two seconds to load and here we are. This is the iTrain software. What we're seeing here is the demo layout that is part of the iTrain software. If your layout is not showing that you can open it by going to the open icon here and then selecting the demo file from here. There are five shown. They're all the same demo but in different languages we'll choose the English version which is the top one called demo.tcdz so click on that, click OK I'm going to say no to saving the changes and here we are, that's the demo layout and we can quickly reassign the trains to the throttles down here you can either double click on the name up here or you can drag and drop it to the window or you can go to this drop down menu and select another train from there. Okay good. The next thing we need to look at is the license. In order to follow these videos you need to have the standard license or higher or have the trial license. If I switch back to the web page I'll show you what I mean. Uh, if you go to the buy link here you'll see this table and it shows the features that are enabled for each type of license here. And the important features to be enabled are these five here uh, all the way to fully automatic driving. So you can see that from the standard license upwards all those features are enabled and with the trial license you'll actually get all the features of the professional version enabled. To apply for the trial license click on the trial license link here and then fill out all of these items here and then press the register button and within a day or two you will receive an email from Xander which contains your license key and that is eight lines of code. Now you'll need to highlight those eight lines, copy them and then go back to iTrain and in the options tab here click on options enter license 
type in your email address. Now this is the email address that you use to apply the license, that's very important. Then click in the license key area and paste the eight lines of code in and then press OK and your license will be approved. And you will also receive a second email which contains your link to actually register on the iTrain forum. Without um, applying for a license you don't get access to the to the iTrain forum. You can't see any of the posts until you've been given this link by Xander. Great, so that's it for this video. In the next video, video 2, I'll give you a quick tour of the iTrain software and then in video 3 we'll start the fun of connecting to your command station. Hope to see you then. Thanks for watching.